Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. Today I'm going to take this bee punch needle pattern and I'm going to punch it two different times. One time, as the pattern says, with three strands and then I'm going to punch it again with six strands of floss. And then I'm going to compare what the two finished products look like and compare how much floss I used. Let's get started. All of my patterns have been designed using three strands of floss, but I had a question the other day asking whether or not you could punch the pattern with six strands. You can take any of my patterns and punch them with str six strands if you prefer punching with six strands, but I wanted to do a comparison to see just how much floss it would use, whether it uses more or less, and compare what the two look like when they're finished. So I have two bees here that I've drawn onto my weaver's cloth and I have in my gripper strip frame and I have I'm going to start with full skeins of embroidery floss and then I'm going to use my CTR six strand and three strand punch needles and I've got they have depth adjusters here that you can add and I've added enough so that they're both the same punching depth. If I was using an ultra punch, I would just choose my punching depth and use the same punching depth for both projects. Okay, right, I'm gonna start out with my three strands and punch this first B. I finished punching the th three strand B. You can see it in there inside my little hole here. Now I'm going to start punching with the six strands on the other B. Okay, I finished punching. This one on this side is the three strand punching and this one on this side is the six strand punching. Flip it over, you can see the difference. This one is the six strand and this is the three strand. You can tell a little bit of difference in the way they look. When I got all done punching, of the yellow three strand floss I had 21 feet left, which then I took that and divided by two to get 10 and a half feet of six strand, since six strand will be double the three strand. Of the six strand yellow that I punched this one with, I ended up with six feet left. So six feet left over here versus 10 and a half feet. So it took a little bit more floss, but not as much more as I thought it would be. With the black three strand, I ended up with 11 feet of the three strand left over, which is five and a half feet of six strand left. And the black six strand, I used the whole skein. I had none left at the end. So for both the black and the gold, it took a little bit more floss to punch with the six strand, but not as much extra as I thought. And I'm sure that that would vary based on your punching style as well as your punching depth and how big your pattern is. I hope you found this helpful. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe below and click the like button. I'll see you next time. Bye.